Saturday again and hopefully it is going to be a slow one for you as well. I make sure mine are slow. We are going to go to a crafters market just now. There's a, a, a autumn market each year at one of the local churches but it's big and they have it again at Christmas time. So we want to go to the autumn market and see it's all handmade stuff through the bank, the wood stuff, whatever. We want to go through there and see what we can find. I like supporting crafters. So we're going to go through there. And then this afternoon we're going to have a nice time with some of our children. Okay, so what have I done during the week? I have finished the back panel for the jersey that I'm working on. It's still sitting on a cable because I want to do a three cable, three needle bind off at the end. So this is what it looks like. Very playful. Um very informal I love it love it okay so that's the back panel it's done uh, the front panel has progressed a little bit but I can't do it in company or in front of the TV so this I work on when I'm alone so I've cast it on and done the ribbings for the sleeves because those are going to be a lot simpler and easier to knit. My dog is now really annoying me. This I will do in front of the TV or when we have company this afternoon because that doesn't require so much focus. Now last night when I slipped these two onto one cable to now continue two at a time from here, I used my knitting cords for the first time. I only got them last week. Um, the Knitting Barber. Very, very interesting. There's three cords in here. Two of 75 centimeters or 30 inches. And one of 150 centimeters or 60 inches. Very interesting. Very, very elastic. Very elastic. You can they stretch a bit. And when you want to fit a garment or move stuff from one cable to the other like I did last night, you simply, it's like a little tube, you press the end over the needle's point. Oh, let me see, there you should be able, let me put it on the, there we go. And then you just slide the stitches off. It's very nice to fit a garment with that you're busy doing because they are so elastic and they've got no memory whatsoever so they don't like a normal knitting cable when you fit it the cable kinks and it makes it sort of difficult this is very nice and when you're done you simply slip it back onto the needle very very nice this is a game changer for sure and they're not that expensive I got these from Lauren from the little yarn craft I ordered them from her and they've got a lot of colors. I choose, um, I chose this neon yellow one because the chances that I would be knitting with this neon yellow colored yarn is quite slim. So they will always be easy to see through the stitches in case I might have to. Don't know why I thought that, but that was my reasoning at the time. So yeah. Very nice. They've got black and silver and red and purple and orange and green and blue and whatever have you. All into this nice little tin. I really like it. I really do. Ha! Okay, so I would like to finish this jersey in the coming week, but I don't think that's realistic. It will probably take me more than a week to get all of it done because in between there's some other stuff as well. But that's the plan. So today I'm going to be working on the sleeves while we have company. Now when we, when I got this yarn, this is uh, Freedom from African Expressions. <clears throat> it was quite a shocker for me to handle it the first time. Because I haven't worked with acrylic yarn in a long time, years. And this one is quite hard. It really is quite hard. Uh, the label says it's 75% wool, but I don't think it's merino. I have a suspicion this might be blue-faced Leicester, because merino is softer 
this is this is definitely not for 75 percent this is definitely not merino and then the other 25 is acrylic but this is really it's quite a hard yarn you you get used to it over time but if you fiddle with something else and you go back to this one it's like oh this stuff is hot but apparently it softens when you wash it so i hope so okay so yesterday the postman came um, I also never worked with African Expressions Joy before. And you can see there's a bit of a luster in there. And that's the mohair. The uh, Joy is 40% superwash wool. They don't say what, but this is a lot softer than the Freedom, so this might be Merino. 45% uh, acrylic and 15% mohair. Now I don't know if it's going to be scratchy. It doesn't feel scratchy now mind you could but i'll be wearing a polo neck underneath it as well so with this one i ordered this specifically for a design that's in my head i want to design a unisex jersey knitting with a square neck with that roll over collar that folds over here in the front that's what i've got in line in mind um, with raglan sleeves real simple pattern unisex you can either adapt it for a for a male or a female simply by choosing the color if that's your thing well i'm going to make it in gray silver gray for myself so <clears throat> i'm excited about this one obviously i'm not going to start it until that green and gray one is finished but um this one is teasing me it's it's i've got the concept of what i want to do in my head all figured out so it's just a case of execute yeah. What I also got in the mail yesterday was Naughty Habit. Naughty Habit launched colorways that she calls speckled clusters. Now, it's predominantly one color with small, small specks of color. And when you knit it, it's literally one or two stitches that's got the color. So it's very pretty knitted up. And I only ordered three hanks of yarn. Now, this one is a dark charcoal and it's got four colors in. There's a there's a bit of a red in there. There you can see the red. And there's a mustard and a green and a turquoise. Now the reason why I only ordered three. I don't have much stash anymore. I sold most, well I sold all my stash last year. I got a little bit again built up, but very little. And what I used to do and still do. I know I will do it again. I go into a yarn shop or on a market or a fair or whatever and I will see yarn that I like and I will buy one or two, maybe three hacks. Simply because money is limited and I want to buy as much as possible. Different ones. So I often end up buying one hack. It's either because the color is really, really nice, but 99% of the time it's because the fiber content fascinates me and I want to work with it and feel what it's like. And then afterwards I sit with all these odd ones and I don't feel like working with them because the project that I have in mind then is probably more than one or two hanks and then I end up mixing them. So I decided that I want to do a couple of projects using only one or two, at the most, three hanks of yarn. And the first of those were the, um, the hat trick that uses only one hank of light fingering weight. And also my slow life slouch, which also uses one hank of yarn. So I want to go down that route a little bit more. A couple of hats. Um, cowls, maybe um, scarves, things that only use one or two or three hanks of yarn. Those will be, will be my, my small projects in between all the big ones. So this is the plan with this. Then I'm still playing with all the colors of the Moya Tots. I still haven't made my mind up on the kit and I can't get going on the kit until I have, on the, on the project, until I've made up my mind up with the kit. I'm still throwing out the Moya Tots, shuffling them around, making little bundles, breaking little bundles, and yeah, I'm not getting any further than what I am. But I will get there, I know I will. I'm waiting for my crochet hooks still, they will come this week. Oh, I've got good news on that. 
Last weekend, I spoke about the different crochet hooks. The Ilona crochet hooks, actually the full wooden range, will be available uh, through the little yarn craft. Lauren is going to stock it in South Africa. So if you want one of those wooden crochet hooks or whatever else Jan makes, you can order it through Lauren. I can really recommend Jan's products. Um, I have his Swift. I have um, Nitty Noddies that he's made. I used to have a spinning wheel that he's made, but I sold that. Um, I see these days he makes the upright swift, which is quite nice. So if, if you're one of those that really moan about having to ball a hank of yarn, maybe invest in a swift and in a, a winder, a ball winder. He makes a ball winder that looks similar to the Nipro one, but it can take up to 300 gram of yarn in a massive ball like this and it really looks well. I've tested it for him. Um, my daughter's got mine. I have a, an old Knit Pro one still. But if you have the right tools for the job, the job becomes a breeze. Um, I don't get why women specifically, I'm not talking about the males, I'm speaking about the women. The women oftentimes feel guilty about buying a gadget like a ball winder or a swift because they're only going to use it once in a blue moon. That's true. But um, most men won't hesitate in buying an expensive drill that they will only use once in a blue moon. What's the difference? They don't drill holes every day. My word, you can only drill so many holes in your house. And then the drill sits in the store or in the garage or whatever until it's needed again. Why is that okay but buying a swift and a good ball winder is not okay? I don't get that. Get yourself the proper tools. Get yourself the gadgets. Like these knitting cords, they are an absolute charm. I think every knitter and every crocheter and every weaver and every spinner, we need a swift, you need a proper ball winder, and whatever other tools you might need, buy them. Make the job easier. It's not a sin to spend a little bit of money on a gadget that will really, really help you. Now, I don't even know what the hell I was talking about anymore. The crochet hooks. Lauren is going to stock um, Jan Pfeiffer's products. He makes uh, Swift, um, a ball winder, a blocking board for small motives. Very nice blocking board with a lot of pins. And then the crochet hooks, obviously. And then for the spinners, he also makes Nitty Noddy, Lazy Kate. He actually makes a spinning wheel, which is much more affordable in South Africa than the imported ones. And they're very nice to work with. So those will all be available from Lauren. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so what is in my project pipeline? I want to finish this green and grey sweater as soon as possible. I want to start on this knitted sweater, the unisex one, after that. These will still be in the cupboard for a while until I've decided what I want to do with them. And then it's the crochet cowl that I want to get working on. Oh, look at this. I found it in my cupboard. I don't know. When we moved here in December, I found this and I was like, what? Look at this blast from the past. Where have you been all this time? I have no idea. I, it was stashed somewhere where I couldn't see it. I knitted this for myself in 2009. Imagine that. 2009. And the reason why I remember specifically 2009, I was knitting this the first time that... Um, my now husband took me to his family for a braai and they were all amused at me bringing my knitting there. This is made in Algol Chucky. It was 
long before I had any idea of the difference between acrylic and natural fiber. For me, it was wool. <laughs> yeah, so I, this is one of those patterns that I've done and never written it down. So I must actually look at what I've done and, and do it again. I think it's damn nice. It's got this cable detail on the sleeve, you can see. And then the whole front is cable paneled and the back as well. The back is also cabled. Yeah, I must actually, actually rewrite this one and get somebody to test it. Maybe we can, maybe we can publish it. Yeah, it's not all made in a, in a off the shoulder, drop shoulder, block jersey type of thing. Quite nice, quite nice. I was quite amazed when I found it. So I will be wearing it, even though it's acrylic. <clears throat> okay, so what's the thought of the week? Don't feel guilty when you have to buy gadgets or tools for your craft. It's still a lot cheaper than therapy. Think about that. Speaking of tools, last week I told you I was going to buy the Nipro Ginger set. Well, I changed my mind. I love the Knit Pro needles, but I don't like their cables. <clears throat> I love Chargu's cables, but I don't like their needles. <clears throat> and Lantern Moon is the happy one for me. Lantern Moon has got the hardwood needles and the steel encased in nylon cables and they swivel. So I was moaning, the reason why I didn't want to buy Lantern Moon was to bring it into South Africa. Oh my word, we pay so much on international career and on um, import duties and taxes. It just, it's not worth it. So Dorette, my friend in Hong Kong, she said to me, why don't you just let me buy it here and bring it for you? They are coming the 10th of June. Yeah, it's a month and a half. Month and a half. <clears throat> she gets, she's in Hong Kong. They ship to her for free from America with no import duties and taxes. So, blah de blah. I'm so happy. So, she will bring me a full set of Lantern Moon in June. Until then, um, <clears throat> I'll just carry on with what I've got. And then, obviously, I'm going to sell my full set of Chow Goose with all the extras. And there's a lot of extras. There's a lot of. Um, duplicate knitting pins, duplicate cables, and whatever have you. So, message of the week, don't feel guilty when you buy a tool or a gadget to make your knitting or your crochet easier or better. Come on! Your husband is not going to feel bad when he needs to, to replace his drill because every household should have one. Every crafter should have whatever gadget and tools you need. You need a swift and you need a winder. And if you crochet motifs, you need a blocking board. Just buy it. Just buy it. Buy good quality stuff that's going to last you a lifetime. And that's it. It's as easy as that. Okay, so I'm going to have a very slow Saturday now. First I'm going to go to the crafters market and then I'm going to come back and plant my backside on a chair with my feet up and I'm going to knit away until this afternoon when we get guests and then we'll have a bit of a social. Okay, oh, Vacheche. Vacheche is into the third week. Yeah, we're launching week four tomorrow. I haven't seen any crafters that has completed week three. Because section four in week two was an absolute thriller. It's long, it's hard, it's count, 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 count. But when you're done, it's going to be absolute blast from there on. So the Vacheche blankets will soon start featuring somewhere on social media. You will see them coming. Oh, there's also some nice photos of the testers blankets. In different colorways that I still have to share I'll do that today as well and then you can see the colorways that are available from Donna from Colorspun but you can also choose your own 
Dana has got that option open for you. So if you want to change your, uh, choose your own colors, you can do that. And she will even help you to put it together. She will put it together and take a photo and send it to you and tell you if it works or doesn't work. So that's, that's nice and good service from Donna from Colorspun. Okay, I think that's all from me. You must have a blessed week. I don't think I forgot anything. Hmm. Okay. I will see you next week. Have a good slow Saturday. And try to have a slow week as well. Why not? Life is better when it's slow.